In this video, we're gonna look at basic ways of incorporating a Skype call into your VidBlaster feed. To get started, I'm going to open VoiceMeter. Uh, it's a program, it's absolutely free, and if you don't have it, I highly recommend you download it. It's an audio switching program, and it works very well. Now, the way that I've got it set up here for channel one, uh, the line input, I've, my microphone that you're hearing me speak on is connected to an external mixer and it's coming into the computer via the line input. Now the way that I'm assigning this input is channel A, which is the main output, which goes to my speakers, is turned off, and channel B goes to the virtual audio device, which is what we're going to be selecting in Skype and VidBlaster, so to make the, the, the sound available to those programs, that's the channel we're going to select. Uh, the reason I don't have A selected is if I did, it would create feedback loops. The sound would come out of the speakers, be picked up by the microphone, come out of the speakers, and create an infinite loop. So make sure you've got channel A turned off, channel B turned on. The virtual input here is basically the system sound, and I've got that set for both A and B. So when the system makes a sound, not only do I want to hear it through the speakers, but I also want it to be available in the, the production and also for the Skype caller to be able to hear it as well. Just in case I'm playing like a soundboard or if you're you know playing a song or, or a video or something, the audio is available to everyone. Uh, so that's the way you need to have that set up. So now that we're happy with that, also up here you can see that uh, for the hardware output, the speakers uh, for, for A1 I've got set here to the Cirrus Logic, which is the, the onboard sound on my computer. So that's all good. I'm happy with that. I'm just going to close out of that. Now to get started with the video side of things, we'll open up VidBlaster. Trial Edition. Okay, I'm just going to close that trial window. Okay, now the way that we've got this set up here is I've got a simple camera uh, behind me capturing uh, the two computers here. We've got the program window open and to incorporate Skype we need to add two things. We need to add the output module. I'm going to drag that down the bottom here and we also need to open another camera module. So camera one and I'm gonna drag that down as well. All right, for the output module, what we need to be looking at in the first drop-down window is we're going to select the program window, and that's going to take whatever appears in this window is what it's gonna send out uh, to the virtual video device, which we need to select here. So if you have a, a number of other cameras, by having it select, set to the program window, whatever actually happens in, in the program window you can switch all your cameras, run your overlays, but whatever happens in that window is going to be sent out, uh, which is what we, we want. So our Skype viewer can see exactly what's going on while we're talking to them. If you're going to be playing a video or, or uh, showing a web page or something, you certainly want your Skype caller to be in on what's going on so they understand exactly what you're talking about. So by setting it up that way, they will see everything and it's also um, the way that you also want to have it set up to set to send your video out to your recorder or if you're streaming to a live service like Ustream. So now that we've got the output window configured, I'm going to press on and there we go. You can see that it's active and that'll be streaming out to the, the virtual video device. So now that we're happy with the way that's all set up, I'm going to open Skype. Okay, now in Skype we want to have a look at our options first. Uh, go to audio settings. Uh, it's already picked up the voice meter output. So basically everything that's coming out of voice meter is going to go into Skype, which is what we want there. Uh, for the speakers, it's selected the voice meter input, uh, which is also what we want because voice meter is controlling the external speakers as I showed you there before. So that's that's how we want it all set up. That's all looking pretty good. So let's go to video now. And where it says select webcam, you want to select the VidBlaster virtual video device. So again, as we said, anything that comes through that program window, that will be what goes into Skype and your caller will be able to see everything that's going on in your production. So now that that's all set up and I'm happy with that, we're going to save that. And on this second computer here, I've got Skype up and running on a, a different account. 
to get Skype into our VidBlaster production, I'm just going to call, make a video call from this second computer. I'm going to accept there. Okay, so now that that's up and running, we can select it by going into VidBlaster here and on the camera, we'll select capture and because my production's uh, 640 by 480 resolution, which is a 4 by 3 resolution, I'm going to select a 4 by 3 area. So this little window here's popped up, which I don't really want, so I'm going to minimize that and I'm going to drag out an area like that. Okay, for some reason my computer's chosen to look for a different driver, so I'm going to go back to screen capture and there it is. So now I'm incorporating the Skype video feed into my production there and I can switch back and forth between the two and that's how you can mix yourself and your Skype caller in VidBlaster.